Good morning and welcome to day 15 of the pre-holiday 30-day keto weight loss challenge. My name is Kathy Dean with Healthy Ambitions, a website and YouTube channel on the ketogenic diet and exercise. Before we get started, make sure you go ahead and smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already, and if you hit that bell icon next to the subscribe button, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So I've created an entire playlist for this 30 day weight loss challenge. So if this is your first time here, be sure to click on the playlist link, which I'll have in the description box, as well as pinned in comments. And you can go back to the very beginning and watch it all the way through. I have also linked in the description box, uh, links to other ladies who are doing this challenge with me and they are sharing their 30 day vlogs as well. And so I'm linking that th I'm linking their videos for the day in the description box as I see them come in. Where do we end up after two weeks? Cause this is the beginning of week three. <laughs> so I woke up this morning and as far as weight goes, I am sitting at 153.8, which is better than it's been for the weekend. Um, I am still a pound up from last week's low of 152.8. So officially for the challenge after two weeks, I am sitting down 2.6 pounds. It is not where I would like to be. I would have liked to have seen closer to five pounds at this point, but that's where we're at. Now, interestingly enough, I did discover something in part of my problem for last week. I apparently have been having PMS symptoms and didn't even connect the dots. If you're a dude watching, you can fast forward to this part. This is some of the lady stuff. But the last couple of days, like my breasts have been very tender. I've been moody. And with your classic PMS symptoms, and you're probably wondering, well, if you're a woman, how do you not connect the dots? And, and then I did start spotting last night and it looks like my period could be starting today. The problem is I'm going through, because of my age, <laughs> I'm going through premenopause, perimenopause, whatever you want to term it. And so my periods are extremely inconsistent right now. So it's only been three weeks since my last period. So it's a very short cycle. The period before that was two months between periods. So, and I, my entire life, I've always been like clockwork consistent. And so to have everything so wacky and everything is new for me. And so even trying to track it, and I am tracking it just so I can see what it's doing from one, one cycle to the next, so I can share that with my doctor, but there's no way to predict <laughs> when it's going to come. Um, so that stinks. And I did go talk to my doctor about it, and I had my hormones tested, and my hormone counts are, have confirmed that my body has started the change. So that was something that was unknowingly working against me this past week, but it also very much explains why I was so dang munchy last week. Like I was having major issues with munchiness, which of course wasn't helping the weight at all. So between PMS and bloating and munchies, um, I guess it's not, I guess I should be happy that I did not gain this week. I had to look, I'm not sure. I think after the first week I was still under a two pound loss. So I think I've, I've lost just over a pound each week so far. I'll take it. So let's get to our, oh, measurements real quick. So when I'm measuring, I'm measuring several different areas. I'm measuring like high waist, mid waist, like an inch above the belly button and then my hips. And I did lose another half an inch off of my high waist and another half an inch off of my hips. So I think total between all the different areas, I've lost, I think two inches off my midsection, which is good because that's my, that's my problem area with weight is this midsection. Uh, okay, so now let's get on to our ketones this morning. I did remember to get everything loaded up to test them this morning. I'm getting low on Lancet, so I do need to order some more of those. That one stung. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts worse than others. I don't, I don't know why. Glucose this morning is kind of high at 104. I do not like waking up with three digit glucose numbers. I did have some yogurt late last night with some protein powder. So that was probably a contributing factor. Uh, so that's not, that's not great. But ketones are at 1.3. So that's, those, those are okay. I like seeing those numbers. I would prefer to see, now that I've gotten spoiled, to seeing a couple of numbers above two. I would love to see that above two in the morning. Anything above one, I'm happy with. 
So let me real quick check that GKI score. Okay, so even with the elevated glucose for the morning, I'm still sitting at 4.4 for my GKI score, which is a moderate state of ketosis. I would like, I would prefer to see a higher state of ketosis in the morning, uh, just because I'm fasted first thing in the morning. I did not work out last night. So, and I know um, Jelly over at Fat to Keto, she has mentioned before that if she doesn't work out the day before, that her morning numbers are not as good as when she does work out. But so yesterday was a rest day, so I wasn't supposed to work out, so I didn't skip it. I just wasn't supposed to. But today is back in the gym. I believe it is chest and tries, maybe. I will fill you in later with that. But right now, I'm going to, I haven't made up the coffee yet. I'm going to go make up my protein coffee. I'm back to the protein coffee with 24 ounces of coffee, one scoop of the uh, Optimal Nutrition Gold Standard 100% Whey Protein Chocolate Flavor. So it's only a total of three, uh, three total carbs. Um, and it's a very clean ingredient list. And so it makes a nice um, mocha coffee for me in the morning. Um, so I'm gonna make that and then get to work. And I'm looking to hold off any solid food this past weekend, it was a weekend. I usually eat a regular breakfast early in the morning because my husband makes breakfast um, on the weekend, but it's time to back up that eating window again for the week. And so my plan is to enjoy the protein coffee and then go to the gym, hopefully around 11-ish, and then come home and have my first solid food meal of the day. But all right, I'm gonna get going and I will check in later. Okay, it is 11.36 and I'm finally heading to the gym. I am running <clears throat> almost 40 minutes, 45 minutes later than what I had hoped. But that's just what it is. So heading to the gym and I did confirm it is a tricep and chest day. Not my favorite day. I like the triceps exercises. I'm not a huge fan of chest exercises, um, especially because some of them are like push-ups and I don't like push-ups at all I got to where I could actually do a full body push-up a couple years ago and I can still do like one but I got to where I could do 10 full body push-ups and which is huge it is huge and they weren't pretty <laughs> I mean the form needed some work <clears throat> but it was still it, it was an accomplishment and I actually, I wrote an article on my website about how to master the push-up, And it kind of goes through, and I actually have like a, a printable. And it, so it starts, for anybody that needs to, you can start doing counter push-ups and then go through the whole 30 days. And then do the next 30 days doing knee push-ups, And then if you're ready, progress to the full body push-up. And um, I've ne I never made it all 30 days in the full body push-up. Um, but I still, I did, like I said, I made it to where I could do 10 and that was, that was a huge accomplishment and it's one of those things and I tell my son because obviously he's, he's a dude and he, he has the most beautiful push-ups in the world, but it's something if you just do some every day, like just, I told him, start with just doing 10 a day and, and then gradually increase it and he can knock out 40 full body push-ups without even black, you know, blinking now. I mean, he just... Can knock it out very easily and it's impressive to watch now of course he's also a dude and he is genetically stronger <laughs> as as a male compared to females and that's just the way things are but it's still it's it's been fun to watch him um grow and strengthen as he's gotten older even though i could got i got up to 10 and that was exciting i never enjoyed them it is a it is a specific work uh, i'm spitting here it is, a, it is an exercise that I do not enjoy. So anyway, so this is probably going to be about a 45 minute workout, I guess, including the, the, the cool, the warm up and the cool down, or I may choose to skip those today, which you really shouldn't. But um, like I said, I'm getting a late start right now and I've still got a lot of work to do today. I mean, that's every day, but um, so yeah, so I'm getting here and I will go home. I still haven't eaten yet. So I'm going into the workout, not fully fasted because I had my protein coffee. But I haven't had any solid food yet and I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm on my second water. This will probably be finished by the time I leave the gym. Um, and then I got to decide what I want for lunch. I really didn't get any cooking done yesterday like I meant to. And yesterday was Sunday, the day that I usually try to cook. But I was very lazy and I was intentionally, intentionally lazy yesterday. 
And that's okay. Sometimes you need those days. And yesterday I took it. But now I'm lacking in food in the fridge. I'm lacking prepared food. So I may need to go home and cook something before I can eat, which will just delay me eating even further, which isn't a bad thing. I need to definitely reduce, greatly reduce my calories over the next couple days and kind of reverse some of the damage I've done the last few days with just overeating and too many carbs, too many total carbs. I need to get that total carb count back under, back under 20. That's the goal for the day is to not get snacky or just at least if I do feel snacky to avoid or just what's the word, overcome that temptation. Now that my period has started, that's probably, usually my snackiness is definitely in the pre-menstrual section of the cycle, not the during the menstrual cycle. So I'm hoping most of the snackiness is, is done for. We'll see. I will, I will let you know how that goes <laughs> later on today. But for now, I'm going to get to my workout. Okay, I got a solid 30 minutes of the workout done before I had to quit <clears throat> the chest and triceps day. <laughs> it's a killer. It's a freaking killer. I'm dying. So maybe maybe next week. I'll be, uh, this is the same workout last week. I couldn't complete it. So maybe next week. I'm on week two of the four-week beginner program. I can't even imagine the regular program right now. I may end up doing a repeat of the four-week beginner program before moving on to the regular program. We'll see how I feel at the end of this four weeks. But if I get to week four and I still can't complete a chest and triceps day, then I think that's going to be a good sign that I just need to repeat the beginner program. Um, so my, <laughs> my muscles are exhausted. I definitely worked them to exhaustion today. So... When I quit at the 30 minute mark, there was probably about 15 minutes left in the workout. Um, so this one, especially if you, if I were to include the warm up and the cool down, it would be close to the 50 minute mark, I think, um, for the full blown program. But I'm tired. I'm going to go home. I'm really hoping there's something pre-made in the fridge that's left over that I can eat. But if not, then I will make something that won't take me, hopefully, too long. I mean, I can, I can make myself a sandwich, a ham and cheese sandwich. Oh my gosh, you know what would be good? A grilled ham and cheese. That's going to put me over on my carbs today, though, because the bread, it's made with almond flour, so it's got carbs in it. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see what I feel like when I get home here in five minutes. So, okay, I decided I'm going to have for lunch, but I am going to have to wait for it for about an hour. Um, I have these um, chicken wings that are in the fridge that I forgot that I thought about, and so... One, chicken wings just sound awesome. And two, I need to cook them before they go bad. So um, Carolyn Ketchum of All Day I Dream About Food has an awesome just garlic parmesan chicken wings recipe. And so that's the recipe I'm using today. So I'll make sure and link that in the description box below. But basically you're gonna, and I actually had to cut these up because they were like the full wing, the drumstick and the, the wings were still, <laughs> were still attached. So I just split them up. I don't like cooking them all together. I want to have my individual pieces. So I'll coat it in baking powder, salt, and pepper. And that's, uh, you know, the, basically the keto way <laughs> of getting some good crispy skin on the wings. And then I will put it in the oven at only 250 for like 30 minutes. And then I'm going to bump the heat up to 425 and do it for another 30 minutes. And then when they come out, then I'll mix up the butter, garlic, and Parmesan mixture that I will toss the wings in once they come out of the oven. I've done these several times and they are amazing. So anyway, so it's gonna be, it's 12.43, it's gonna be another hour before I can eat if I'm gonna do these wings, but that's okay. I'm actually doing okay with hunger pains right now. I'm not overly hungry, even with the strenuous workout at the gym. So my only decision right now while I wait is what flavor of electrolytes do I want today? I think I'm going to go with the orange today because I have not, I have, I have not had orange this and probably a week. So I'm going with orange today. All right. I will try to remember if I'm not too hungry and I can remember to get a shot of the food before I eat it. I will do so. Um, otherwise I will check in later this afternoon. I want to show you real quick the wings coming out. Look how crispy they look. That is just baking powder, salt and pepper. That's it. 
I think the only thing that would make these better is an air fryer. But for the oven, this is pretty spectacular. All right, wings, electrolytes, and an episode of Lost. So that's what's happening. Well, as you can see, I've not really done much <laughs> with myself today. Um, so I've just been working away this afternoon. I did get some the um, the ground turkey cabbage skillet fry done up. Um, the teenager, him and his dad just went to the gym to work out and he was in here <laughs> getting a little pre-workout snack, eating straight out of the skillet. He absolutely loves this stuff. Um, I made it on a previous video, but I'll go ahead and real quick. It is just a pound of ground turkey that I skillet fry in about a tablespoon of olive oil. I add a little bit of salt and pepper. And then once the turkey meat has almost finished browning, then I add in some onion powder and some ginger and some coconut aminos and let the meat really soak up that last bit of flavor. And then I put four cups of shredded cabbage on top of all of it. And I just continue skillet frying it until um, the cabbage is softened. And it's just, it's a wonderful, it's a really, really good flavor, a bit of an Asian flavor. It's a very simple version of my egg roll in a bowl is what it really is. Uh, much fewer, much fewer ingredients. There, and there's no sesame oil in it. Uh, I'm staying away from seed oils right now. And there's no onions because that's added carbs on top of the cabbage. So I thought, very simplified version, but I think I might actually like it better. But I'm not having that tonight. I found, oops, where's it at? We have one beef and, uh, beef and cauliflower left over. And then, I couldn't believe it. There's leftover bacon from this weekend. I don't even know how that happens. So I'm gonna add a couple of, we actually had these in half slices. So I'll add a full slice of bacon in with my bacon and cauliflower and then top it off with a little bit of shredded cheese. And that will be my dinner tonight. I am also enjoying a Zevia Cola with dinner. Um, and then that will, I'll check my macros at that point. If I need more protein, then I'll go ahead and do um, like a, probably a, either, either just a protein shake or I might do a yogurt with protein powder in it. I'm undecided. Um, but whatever I do, I will make sure and let you know about it. And then um, I will be back for the wrap up video for day 15. Okay, about to go to bed. I'm just gonna go over the numbers real quick. This is kind of crooked, there we go. Um, so then I end up being really great. My total calories for the day were 1448. My protein was high at 124 out of 98 grams. So that was definitely on the high side. But my carbs, my total carbs for the day were at 15 grams, which is the best it's been in over a week. So I totally succeeded keeping the carbs down today, which is amazing. And then my fat grams were at 98.7, which are a little bit lower than the max goal I have set. So I'll say all in all, week three is off to a good start. Um, you know, not sure what to expect with the weight tomorrow. I am on my period. So um, I know the PMS symptoms definitely affected my eating habits last week. Um, so we'll see, <laughs> we'll see what happens this week. I'm not so sure. Um, but anyway, all in all, it's, uh, it's, it's Monday. It's been a good Monday. It's been a productive Monday and I have not been overly munchy. Oh, and a side note, we just finished watching the season two, episode two of the Mandalorian <laughs> and it did not disappoint. In fact, it might be from a, from a baby Yoda standpoint and the cuteness overload this episode might be my favorite of the entire series so far. Uh, so if you are a Baby Yoda fan or a Mandalorian fan, I still, still think it should be called The Baby Yoda Show. That's honestly, that's why I watch it. I watch it for the Baby Yoda. And I know for the, for the, you know, the purist out there, I know his official title is The Child. It is not, his name is not Baby Yoda, but he will always be Baby Yoda to me. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Totally random, once again, I'm gonna call it a night. I hope you have an amazing day tomorrow and I will see you on the next video.